Have you ever come to a fork in the trail and thought, I wonder what's out there? But for whatever reason, that path goes unexplored. At least until next time. So many details go into planning a trip, like deciding what route to take, what gear to bring, and what you're going to eat, all of which offer an opportunity to try something new. I learned to make cornbread a while back, so I thought, why not give cake a try next? And it wasn't half bad. I'm not much of a peak bagger, but I passed up my last chance to summit Mount Rogers. I think I should at least climb the mountain the recreation area is named after once. Tired of taking, I can't get enough of this whole world. Another auctioneer, a fist inside of his mouth, watching it What if, instead of continuing on the AT, I wandered onto the Crest Trail instead? What would be waiting out there?
there's supposedly a water source somewhere around here. Just going off descriptions from archived threads on White Blaze, there's no telling what to expect now. The fence had certainly seen better days, but there was still plenty of cold, clear water on the other side. Back in the day, ranchers would weigh their cattle here before making the trek down the mountain to sell them. Hence the name Scale. It's a pretty slick move, seeing as how the herd would shed a couple pounds along the way. Being six months pregnant certainly puts a cap on how fast and far you can go. It's not necessarily a bad thing though. Going fewer miles and sometimes taking all day to get there really makes you notice things you normally wouldn't. On top of all that, it's a great excuse to take a nap if you do get to camp early.
If you've ever come to a fork in the trail and thought, I wonder what's out there. But for whatever reason, that path goes unexplored. I highly recommend satisfying that curiosity next time. I'm glad I did. <laughs>